everyone, my name is Nancy Moy and I'm the founder and creative director of New Level, a women's wear brand that is made in Kenya. I've always loved fashion. I was a stylist at one point, I was a fashion writer at another point, started a blog and then now started my own fashion brand by importing first and then over time I started creating my own designs. I design all of them, I love all of them, but The Rich Housewife is one of my favorite pieces. Yeah, the high-low, flowy, comes with the wind. That's the one. Well, the clients who are rude to my employees, I, I can't stand that. I know we say the customer is always right, but um, it's always good to have some good form of communication and conflict resolution. Being rude is not nice. Colorful, luxe, summer, it's a summer brand. Very chic, I can say chic, yeah. For New Level, I feel like we've really mastered the use of uh, print and using like different types of print. I'm very black and white obsessed, but still, I feel like we've mastered the use of print. And a lot of our customers love the prints that we use. Wow. Well, no, acting, I, I wear my feelings on my sleeve, so... <laughs> I don't think, I don't think, no, acting has ever crossed my mind, but I would love to be an Olivia Pope here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My phone and food, clothes. <laughs> what are we wearing? In my group of friends on the FBI, I can find anything about anyone. Yeah. I wanted to be a lawyer back in like high school when you were leaving and I was like, I'm gonna go do law. But I always had a love for fashion. I think the reason I wanted to do law is because I saw lawyers were making it, but I'd never seen a fashion designer or someone in the fashion field make it. So now that I am in it, not unless it's something still to do with fashion, it will still be in the fashion world, yeah. Okay, my greatest strength, I feel like I see an opportunity, like I'm able to really pinpoint where the opportunity is and I'm able to connect the dots. I feel like that's what makes me a great entrepreneur because I'm able to see this, this goes to this, goes to that. And I also have a very quick learner. Weakness, I can procrastinate sometimes, a lot, uh, but I'm self-aware about that, so I know when I'm taking time to take action, yeah. I don't know, I've never had one of those. Poverty. Poverty is my biggest fear. Oh, for sure. I can say my best purchase was my air fryer, influenced by Miss Mandy. I don't like to cook. I don't cook often, but I'm enjoying using that. And there's a perfume I bought and I, I, I don't like it at all. It was influenced by someone wearing it. I can't remember the name and I still have it. But I was like, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm going to get it. When I bought it, it just, I didn't like it. Nikita Kerry. She's amazing. Yeah, she's very talented and very beautiful. And she like, you can see she's so into her craft. Yeah. But definitely not the quiet one. Troublemaker, yes. Popular, I don't know if I was popular, yes, maybe, but yeah, troublemaker, yes. Yeah. Top three, um, Inti, Cultiva, Talisman. Yeah. Pushing the boundaries, especially in fashion in Kenya. Um, Growing up, we really didn't see much of like young women doing their thing in fashion in this country. And it's something that has blown up in the last, I'm telling you, last maybe six, seven years. And it's, I'd love to be remembered for that. Yeah. Criticize if you look like a perfect 10. Criticize if you never make mistakes in your dressing. Criticize if, um, if you don't look like shit. Criticize. You can criticize if you look as well. But if, you, if you're not yourself paying 100%, you have no business criticizing other people. And furthermore, we all wear differently. We all have our own creative sense. We all have a way we interpret clothes and fashion. It's about just coming out of your shell and doing what you need to do. Summer, sun. <laughs> Yes, anything that I can wear, like one one layer, one light, like it's uh, summer. Yes, yes, you can. I think it's just about the creativity and like how you see clothes. Yeah, I started by, I used to sell clothes from Gikomba back in the day and yeah, that's what I did. I did that for a good three, three years. So it's, you can be fashionable without spending a lot of money. A pantsuit for sure, a pantsuit. The color, like a dark, like a maroon, like a dark maroon or dark red. 
Yeah. Put your shorts. No, 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 no. Put your shorts. No. Yeah, that's not my style. Something I hate someone else loves, but I don't know if there's anything that I generally would be like, I totally detest that trend. I can't. I hated kitten heels, my God. Now I wear them. I wear them. In my perfect days, if I'm able to accomplish my to-do list, it's not a long to-do list. At least I usually have like five, five to six things I need to do and three important decisions I need to make. If I make those three important decisions and I do my six things, that's a good day. And also if I wake up on time, like I wake up early and I'm in bed by 10, yeah. Shop new level wise, what can you expect? We have a new product launch coming in the first quarter of the year, and uh, you know, and also like more like more fashions. Why not? We've moved to a new location, very pretty, very cute spots. So more style, yeah. <laughs>